Hey everyone, it's Santiago from Lumineer, and today we're really excited to present a product that we have been working on for the past year, together with one of our most um, popular pilots. In this case, we're talking about the QABS2 Johnny FPV Special Edition frame. We worked really hard. Um, this is not just an upgrade of a frame, it's actually reimagined from the ground up. So you will see a lot of features and new innovations within this frame. Let's dive in. The idea behind the QAVS2 line is that whether you're a beginner pilot or a pro pilot, you can build, repair, and tune and fly this drone pretty easy. And the way that we developed it and designed it should bring you a cinematic and freestyle experience um, right out of the box. One of the main features that we wanted to bring to this frame was to make it durable, stable, and rigid. And the way to do that is that we went to 6mm arms and 3mm main plate in order to have a lightweight yet robust foundation that was going to be easy to tune later on. Another feature that we wanted to bring to this frame was the uh, new lateral X-lock mechanism, which is basically the way that the arms are put together with these side wedges and this bottom X brace. We had before a carbon fiber brace that we upgraded to a aluminum to reduce the tolerances and also bring more rigidity to the frame. I'm gonna show you something cool. This is really interesting and is that we went to a different material in this version and uh, we included aluminum for the X-brace and the side wedges that are being tightened by these lateral screws so anytime you feel that your arms are getting loose you just screw a little bit more the side screws and then there is a two axis clamping mechanism which is being done by these side wedges and then when you put the bottom plate is being done vertically on these standoffs. That way you can have a really rigid frame without messing around with stack screws which are 20 by 20 and 30 by 30 mounting pattern just in the center. You don't have to do anything with those screws in the, in the stack for you to be able to tight the arms and put them together properly. This x lock system is really versatile. Let me explain you why. If we just remove the side screws that it told you about with the wedges, and if you're all about traveling and getting this drone to, uh, to new locations, you can easily just fold the frame because it's being held up on one screw. That way you end up with a smaller footprint that you can throw anywhere, maybe in your backpack or if you're, yeah, if you're putting it in your luggage. That way you can just reduce the footprint, the size, and then when you're done, you just, again, put the wedges using a 2.5 millimeter driver. And since it has two axis clamping, you don't need to lose the other screws. You just tie the lateral screws as much as you want, and you will find that you don't have any play in the arms. So yeah, that's a cool feature. Something that is really important for us here at Lumineer is to be using the highest quality parts and materials. That's why we have a nice carbon fiber with chamfer edges and clear coat together with 6061 5 axis machined aluminum for all the parts. That's why you will find that all this aluminum in this drone is custom. With the popularity of the DJI O3, we wanted to be able to mount the system to this frame. That's why we designed side plates that have rubber silicone grommets that basically reduce the vibrations that are going through the camera. So that way you can mount your unit together with these back plates that you will find in your kit that are aluminum and they serve as heatsink, also as a um, mounting solution so their unit doesn't have any play or slack. But we didn't forget that people are maybe going to be using a different video transmitter, maybe different camera, maybe add a GPS or put a GoPro on top. That's why we came up with a lot of accessories that I'm going to explain here in a bit that make, makes this frame really customizable. So let's start with the camera plates. Right now, and here mounted in this frame, you'll find that we have these camera plates that have um, isolation grommets. That's going to be for DJI O3 unit. 
But if we want to mount any 19 millimeter cameras or analog cameras that are 19 millimeter, we have these different plates that are meant to have a built-in washer in this carbon fiber plate in case you need to mount a smaller camera. We also have rear adapters. These rear adapters are meant to be put on the back on the real tilt that I'm going to explain you know, in a moment. And the idea behind this, this solution is that you can mount a rear GoPro or you can, mount, you can mount a GPS plate or you can mount one or two antennas when you want to do long range and whatnot. So the idea of giving versatility to this frame was really important for us. That's why we're including a lot of parts and accessories that you may use and that you won't need to 3D print any additional parts or zip tie any additional accessories because this frame just has it all. Let's talk a little bit more about the real tilt mechanism. The way that we designed this is that you can mount any accessories to the actual frame. The way that we have it is that by changing the plate, you can mount one or two antennas, you can mount GPS, or you can mount the rear GoPro. That by losing two side screws on each side, you can just tilt this mechanism as you want. So you will end up with a nice placement of your antennas or your, your GPS or your rear GoPro. And if at some point you think that this may be unnecessary, you can just lose completely the side screws and just remove the whole mechanism to end up with just more of a basic frame, right? Basic configuration, which is just having a stand of the back. So by having this mechanism, you have options. You have the versatility of having mounted accessories on the back, or you could also have a nice clean XT60 on the back, hard mounted. Um, and the idea behind this was just to give options and versatility to the frame. That way you can just play with, with the configuration you want. So there you go. This is the QAVS2 Johnny FPV Edition Frame Kit. And it also comes in two different variations. So we have the five inch that I've been showing you, but we also have the seven inch. The seven inch comes with these two side braces that help the drone to be easier to tune, to reduce the vibrations that are coming to these longer extended arms and have a nice dead cat configuration. Dead cat is because the props that are on the front are not going to be seen on the actual FPV footage. That way you can use your HD system to be able to record without any props in you, basically. The accessories that come with both frames for the, the, the um, rear tilt mechanism or the air unit or the side plates, everything comes with both kits. So you will get basically the exact same, exact same components. The only thing is that the seven inch is more optimized for a seven inch build with, like I mentioned, the side braces. So that's it for the frame kit that is available for ordering now on the store, kitfpv.com. And we also have more products from that same line dropping soon. So just stay in the loop for RTFs, motors, and so on. Have a good one.